Hey guys, Tracy here, and as promised, here is my video on vision boards. Now, from the poll yesterday, I could see that a few people already have vision boards, which is awesome, and I'm hoping that some of you can share that with the group at some point today, even if it's just a snapshot of your vision board, maybe where you learned about them, what your vision board means to you, uh, the vision that you have for your life. Just share something about it so people can see, you know, what what you use your vision board for and how it has impacted your life. And then I know there's a few people who don't have vision boards but maybe know what they are or don't really understand the power of them yet. And then there was a few more people who just haven't heard of vision boards at all yet. And so for us, we originally learned about vision boards from the movie The Secret. If you haven't seen that video yet, I highly suggest you check it out. You can go on YouTube. There's full-length versions on there, there's the full-length version on Netflix, whatever way you can check it out, definitely watch it and tap into the power of your thoughts and feelings. That is what that movie is going to show you. It's going to, for us, it helped us understand that there, we have power within ourselves to create the reality that we want as opposed to what society dictates for us. And that's what set us off on the journey that we're on right now. So definitely check that out. You'll learn a little bit more about vision boards on there as well. For us, um, we, we've created vision boards over the past few years, and we've noticed that things definitely start coming to fruition as you align your energy with the visions that you put on that board. When we first started, uh, I actually will put a picture up here. We did, we did our first vision boards with a couple of friends, and at that time we were just going through magazines, cutting out images and pasting them on the board, not really putting as much emotion behind those choices. But in the past year, we actually learned a, a little more fine-tuned technique on how to really tap into the emotional aspect of vision boards, and this was taught to us by a man named Darren Little. If you haven't heard of him, Google him. He's run multiple successful businesses, made millions of dollars in the online industry, and he's someone who really knows how to tap into the power of manifestation. And that is where we learned how to create some powerful vision boards that have truly changed the course of where we're going now. And so what I'm first going to do is just give you a little glimpse of one of our vision boards. These are two vision boards that we actually did joint ones for. We have our own individual boards as well. We have a lot of vision boards, but these are ones that we made together when we first learned Darren Little's strategy. And so first I want to show that to you here. This is just one of them. And as you can see, um, a lot of things, they pop out when you make it this way. Before we kind of just had things pasted on there, uh, it kind of all blended together. There was really no focus, but when you make them in this way, you can see that it's it's a lot more impactful. I think you can feel it a lot more, and things just stand out to you. So with to make this particular vision board, what you want to do is first you want to go to any kind of craft store or Walmart and just buy, you can buy a regular poster board, you can buy the boards that actually peel off and make one sticky layer. Um, Anything that you, some people even use cork boards. I know my friends, they, they'll just use cork boards and they'll pin the things down because as you start to make vision boards, you'll realize that things start happening and coming true for you on that vision board. And so you want to take those down and replace them with your new visions and your new goals. So that's another thing that you can do. And the next thing you want to do if you're, if you want to follow this process is to Go through magazines and find pictures of landscapes and use landscapes as the background of your vision board. This just helps create an initial layer for the rest of your items to sort of pop off from. They'll stand out a lot more. And for magazines, you can go purchase them at stores. A lot of golf magazines have good landscapes. Any kind of travel magazines, those will have great landscapes for you to use. Um, and you can also, when we first started vision boards, we actually, we lived in Austin and we just looked on Craigslist on the for sale section for magazines and lo and behold, 
someone was giving away boxes and boxes of magazines for free. And so that's a good resource too if you're looking to collect a lot of magazines and you want to really get tons of pictures and maybe it's not on your budget to buy lots of magazines right now. That's a great way to get started. And some people actually sell boxes of them for really cheap on there too. Now after you do the uh, landscape layer, the next thing you want to do is go through different magazines and look for words and images that pop out to you. As you can see on ours, you can see things like create freedom, um, building a website is easy, vision, happiness, things that you want to create in your life, success, and then in regards to images, if there's cars that stand out to you, jewelry, travel, places that you want to travel at some point. Uh, we have boats on ours, we have jets, we have, on our other board we have, let me pull that one up too. Then we have this board and we have things like uh, perfumes that we want. I have a picture of a smiling face because I want to get some dental work done that I've been wanting for a while. Just different things that are important to you, that you feel emotionally, that stick out to you. Just, you know, as you're going through magazines, just quickly skim through and, and when things pop out to you, pull, just rip that page out. That's all you want to do is just start ripping pages out. Don't worry about putting it all together at first. Just rip them all out and stack some piles of words, stack some piles of pictures that you like of the landscapes and then once you've collected all those that's when you're going to go ahead and put together the board. Um, I'm also going to put in the bottom of in the description uh, some of the magazines that we use. There's some great ones for luxury living if that's something you're into. That'll have images of cars and boats and homes that you might not have ever imagined before and that was something that was recommended to us from Darren Little as well. It was magazines that we never even heard of before that and it really got us thinking big and dreaming big which is the point of these vision boards is that you are truly capable of creating whatever life you want and you want to dream big. The bigger your dream the better because things do start manifesting when you create these boards especially when you have the right energy and you're in the right emotional alignment. Okay so once you have all of your images cut out you're going to go ahead and first make your first layer with the landscapes and for the words, you want to cut as close as you can to the outline of the words so that it, it stands alone and it really pops. And the same thing with cars. As you can see, we have a car right here and we actually made it drive on the road of a landscape that we had cut out. And we cut out the exact outline of that car. So as you can see, it really pops. It looks like the car is driving towards you. And that's the goal is you want to be able to feel the things on your board. Just play, placing things on and forgetting about it might make some things manifest for you, but the power is really behind getting all of your senses into this board so that you can feel what it feels like to have that life. So once you have your vision board complete, which I want everyone to do this, if you, if you watch this video and you're in our group and you know you really want to work closely with us, this is something that is so important to us and it really helps you get in alignment with your dreams and so I want everyone to really take the time to make these boards. It's a fun process. If you have kids, you can do it with them, get them dreaming, thinking big. Do that, create your vision board and then what you want to do, I'm going to put this down now, is put it somewhere that you're going to see it every day. Now you don't want to get obsessed with it, you don't want to get attached to the things on the board because attachment as we know does not lead to getting what you want. It's, it's being able to proclaim what you want, knowing that it will happen for you, and then letting it go and letting it come as the universe or God brings it to you. And so you have your board, and what you want to do is in the morning or whenever is a good time for you, I suggest the morning because it's going to get your mindset in the right place for the rest of the day, you want to first spend a few minutes either listening to something positive, inspirational, or reading something that inspires you as well to get yourself in a good feeling vibration so you can resonate with the images on your board. So what, what I recommend, and this is what Darren Little has recommended to us as well, is a book called Asking It Is Given. It's by Abraham Hicks. If you haven't heard of 
Abraham Hicks, that's another thing to, to uh, search on YouTube. You'll see some powerful videos about the importance of feeling good if you want to attract things into your life. So here's one book that I suggest. Um, there's books by Joe Vitale, who is also in The Secret. The Awakening Course is a really great book to read. Uh, any books by Wayne Dyer, Tony Robbins, anything that's going to get you fired up, feeling good, making you believe and have faith in your dreams. Those are the things you want to spend a little bit of time, even if it's five minutes. Just read something from those books or listen to something to snap you into that emotional zone and then spend about five to ten minutes looking at your vision board. And when you're looking at your vision board, you really want to put yourself into the images. If you have a car on it, you know, Look at that car, then close your eyes and spend some time feeling what it feels like to drive that car. What does that car smell like? Where are you driving that car? Are you driving along an ocean? Are you in the mountains? Are there leather seats? Are they heated? Put yourself into those images. And that is where you're going to see some powerful emotional resonance with that. You're going to actually feel what it feels like to be, do, or have those things that you put on your board. And I promise you, if you can do this consistently every day and not get attached to the results, just do it and know that you can be, do, and have any of those things you put on your board, you will start to see little manifestations start happening in your life and wondering why you didn't do this all along. And so I hope this cleared up some things for anyone who was wondering what a vision board is. I'm looking forward to seeing some of your vision boards later today in our group. And have a great day.